Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with me, Tops. Yes, that's right, Tops. Trying a bit of a rebranding, name change thing going on. Uh, we're back, we're doing videos again. We're going to be playing some Transport Fever 2. We're going to go straight into a free, free, play, uh, free play game on Transport Fever 2. We're going to try and find a good generation. I wanted to be able to do some boats and things, so I want to get a... That's actually decent, but I wanted to get more... No, that'll be that'll be fine, I think. That'll be a good amount of water for us to start off with. You don't want to go too far with water, but you get money anyway. So, we'll see how this generates. Hopefully it'll be good. Uh, we're going to be playing with some mods on this, which I will show you in a second. But obviously you can have 1, 2, 3, 4. We've got 16 towns, 129 industries. Temperate. So kind of got some, some places around everywhere. We're not going to do too big of a map because obviously my computer can't really handle that. Uh, we're going to start in the year 1900. We're going to go on easy difficulty. It's been a while since I've played. And we're going to go custom settings. So, climate is temperate, environment temperate. I, yes. Yes. And we've got some mods. We've got industry expanded, industry expanded, add on, mail and waste. We've got a, a bus and a tram station area kind of stuff. Uh, some cargo assets and some British buses and trams. So with all that being said and done, we're going to have all vehicles from all regions. We're going to have a temperate climate, temperate environment, uh, European town names, easy difficulty. And we're going to go straight into it. So let's, uh, let's start. It might take a while for it to load, so I'll see you when it is loaded. And we've just loaded in. So, first time I've loaded in. It's been a while since I've played this game. So, we're probably going to have to go through the tutorial. But, um... It's not... Not that big of a map. We're... Just one-to-one -one scale. Not that bad. We've got Leighton... Wayne Fleet All Saints... Highworth... Uh... Rochdale, okay. Staining. Don't know how to do that. Well... Charleston. Well, there's quite a few decent places. Now, first thing we need to do is obviously find a place that's an easy way to get set up. And I think I want to try and get set up with a train early on. It is 1900s, as it says down here in the bottom right. It is the 1900s, but I want to get some place that's kind of realistic to um, to produce. We want to get somewhere, well, to be fair, Highbury is kind of centralised, but there's nothing really I can do for for this, because I need wood and, yeah, that'll just be a bit too much to do, I think. There's a lot of, so Shroud is kind of close in the middle. Got bricks that you need, you also need... What is that? Tools? Yes, so you need tools. You also need mail as well. That's another one. So that's another add-on that we've got. We've got different tools and things. However... We've got a place down here that makes girders. But we need... One of them. Ooh. That makes girders from waste. Where do we get... I don't know how to get waste. That's another thing. That's girders from waste as well. Where does... Where where makes waste? Because if we can find a place that makes waste... Then we can... Basically, I just want to find somewhere we can ship them into here. So there's a... Oh, hang on. So, coal and iron... Where was it we're going? It's not Highbury, was it? Was it Shroud? I'm getting lost. So we could take... It, well, I don't think that, that'll be a bit too long. Go up that way. Yeah, I think that'll be a bit too long. Um, You need fuel. What is this? Oil sand. I don't know that what oil sand is, but that makes oil sand. So that makes oil sand. Oh, that makes slag. Not oil sand. 
Okay. This is interesting. To be fair, these go to, can go to there pretty easily. But then from there, we'd have to go all the way up to here. And I want, I want, like I say, I want to make an easy train pass. This needs it as well. So we can... Not really a fan of that, though, still. We could do an easy thing and just do a mail sorting centre to go mail here. But I think we'll have to sort... We'll have to... We might have to... Uh, Unsorted mail, the mail. Where do you get unsorted mail from? Supplier. Oh, so we have to pick up all the mail from the town to then ship out. So that's kind of a big, big one. So that'll be a big one to sort out. Is there only one sorting center? I'm going to say, if there's only one sorting center, that's going to be a hell of a lot of uh stuff to do oh in fact this has got three places quite close to each other can i do an easy an easy thing here you need fuel and you need bread you both need goods how do i can i get goods easy that makes goods from is it two items yes that might be a bit more difficult then uh, oh bread though Pick up, drop off, deliver. Nice, simple train. That would work. A simple train. Filter there. And as that's developing, we could probably do... Quarry to bricks to down here as well. Kind of make a... A looping train. That goes to here. Up and around to about here to get them up. Or even we'll have a split off to go up there, maybe. To then join a rail to go down here. That could work. Now, I want to make it a bit more difficult for us. We can only place down one road terminus. And one, one rail terminus, one road terminus, and one the other terminuses. Like, so anything ship-wise. We can only put down, a pot, well, uh, one shipyard. We can only put down one train depot, and we can only put down one road depot and tram depot. So we can only put one one of each down. So now where we put them down, we're going to have to try and get trams to the next place via the road network. So that's going to be the interesting part of this series. So I think we're going to start off with this line for the bricks, because I think that's going to be the easiest one to do. Um, and then we'll figure out what to do next. So let's go straight over here. Where do we actually need? We don't know where we actually need the bricks in this. Not that one. There we go. So we need the bricks on this side, but we're going to be delivering this side. Ah, oh, that's the mail. Okay. So as soon as we start delivering items, they're going to start delivering mail. So that that's good. So anyway, we're gonna go straight into here. We're gonna go We're gonna go passenger station. Although I'm probably gonna end up reconfiguring this to make it work better. Does this have stations? I was gonna say, does this have stuff underground, but it doesn't. So that goes up and down. How do we go left that is? And if I shift. That gets it slowly. Okay. So we're probably going to do it at the end of this road. However, we're going to do one platform. We're going to make it the longest we... we no, we want to make it 240. We want to give us enough space to give us some time to get up and over, which we just about have there. So let's come out of here. So... This is going to be this. So we've got one train side. Let's configure this. So I wanted to make this so we've got one train set, one train stop here. And 
we're going to have another one on the other side, another passenger terminal. Then we're going to go for more tracks. So we've got this line in the middle for any trains that need to just bypass the station. Do the same on this side as well. So we're going to be basically a two-way system. So in one way and out the other way. Um, obviously that means we only have one platform for the other way going trains because we're going to have a cargo platform here. So that's going to be our cargo platform. Uh, do we have any? We do have underpasses. So I don't know if what already has underpasses in. So I'll make an underpass there just so they can get over. And I'm guessing that one's going to be one as well. Yeah, it's already had an underpass there. Nice. Okay, so that's going to be the station. If I go, what was this mask? Miscellaneous. That side entrance. Oh, very nice. Platform roof. Of course, we've got to give them a platform roof because we don't want them. There we go. And just put another line of tracks here. Oh, got some auto save action going on. Takes a little while. I just realised we've only got 8 million, so we've kind of got to be careful with our money. But we've effectively got two platforms now for... We'll figure that out. We'll figure it all out after. But that is platform. That is our first platform. Uh, we're going to have to figure out a bridge over this way. So we're going to go around to... Yeah. And I am just going to do a one directly onto it. Because we can. Uh, and it's going to be just a cargo, regular cargo station. Two platforms. Nothing really. Don't really need anything else. i just plonk it there. Very nice. Simple. And then it'll go up to here. In fact, that's going to go this way. There. And then I'm going to rebuild this, configure the station as we did before. With two lines, like two extra lines in the middle. So then we've got a bypass line for both sides. And then cargo terminus on both sides. There we go. So yeah, we've got a bypass on both sides, which is good. And then the terminals on either side, in case we need two terminals. Where would we go? Building it from here. So I've got to reconfigure this one to allow that. Okay. And yeah. Now we need to link these up. So I really don't have a clue how to do this right now. I'll guess. Why am I doing streets? No. Tracks. Um, so we can raise it up here to there. that give us enough in the middle?
I don't know if that means get boats through or not. Obviously, that would not work at all. Then that should be okay. That now has navigable water. Okay. Do you realize it was going to be that much? Then we've got to figure out how to connect that up because that's going to be a bit steep. Um. That works. And we can kind of connect them up together. Okay. So if that's going to be one way, that's going to be... Could do that like that. I'm trying to get used to these controls. They're not the best, but it works. That to there. Then add that into there. That into there. And then I don't think that'll work fit. So it does like that. Okay. A little bit wonky, but it works. That's not going to work. Just need to get this in. Bring that back a bit. And have a go again. That works. Um... And I guess we'll have to put this in. I don't think it's going to be available on the actual there, though. Yeah. A little bit confusing to get this. I'm just hoping we don't need to then cross over, but we're probably going to have to at some point. If it's coming in one, it's going to have to go out the other. Ah, we can do it like that. Can I? No. Probably going to have to do it a little bit longer. Do it like that. There we go. It's a bit of a mess, but it works. It all connects up. And this is going to be the terminus station. So. Obviously. That's going to be the main line. That's going to be the main line. I'm going to get them to there. Onto there. Just so we can switch them out if we need to. We'll go and put the switches in later, but let's just see if I can... Just simply, it probably won't work. It's probably going to be too much. Oh, it's not actually. Only a million. Not bad at all. Obviously, it's not a super fast track, but... It'll do. Definitely do. So that's that line in. Probably make this a little bit better. Just to make it look a bit nicer. Let's get a road. There we go. A little, little bridge. 
Okay. And then the next one is setting these together. So, do the same that we just did over there. Put these onto the main line. Then can we do... Let's move forward a little bit more. There we go. Do the same this way. And then this side to where we're going. Oh, I didn't do this side, did I? Let's get this side done. Just so everything is going to be lined up nice. There we go. Cross over there. Cross over there. And now we go from here. All the way around to there. That's not bad either. That's not a bad price. It does add that layer. Make it that. Got a collision of the road. Break that road off for now. And then add this back in. To the right side. That to the right side, yes. The difference in price, 1.5, 700. Ah, uh, we'll do it that way. Very nice. Put this rod back in, actually. There we go. Uh, and now we're going to set up our first and only depot. We can't pick it up. We can't remove it. it once it's there, it's always there. So... Let's just configure this for a second. We'll add another track along this side. And we'll put the station on here. Building, train depot. There we go. Push that into there. Then as long as we can get that onto there, that is now able to connect to the network. Let's get our first system on the go then. How do we do this? Line manager. So it's going to pick up from there. Go to there, go to there, and then run all the way back. We've not even put actually the, what do you call them in? We'll figure that out in a second anyway. We're going to load up on, is it stone? No, where's the stone? Which one's stone? Stone. We're going to unload... Stone. Where is it? Stone. Stone. Prick. Pick up brick, and then unload brick down here. Always wait till f wait till full there. How much? That do a hundred. Definitely stone, isn't it? Yeah. That would do six hundred. Okay, so that'll be definitely interesting. We need to put the. 
before I forget. Ourselves this way. Not waypoint signals. So. Put them in like this. Signals in there. Put them in every now and again just to make sure. Then we've got 3 million for the first train and hopefully that'll start making us money. That's the plan anyway. There's the cross there. We'll do it after that. Okay. Go like this. It's actually going to go with... Oh, no, that's the wrong way. Where are we? Signal there. Signal here. It's not a bad actual little run, this. And we're going to... Like I say, we're going to try and just utilize it all as we can. Um, do we like this? And that should be pretty good. So that's line one. Which, hang on, what is it? Where, where is this place? Uh, Newton on Druid. So let's get our... Let's actually make line this. So... We're going to do... We need to figure out a rail system. Uh, not a rail system, a naming system. So I believe it. we could do... Train cargo. Uh, manufacture and deliver bricks to Norton on um, went the red line. So let's build our first train. Oh, there's quite a lot of trains, actually. Let's go for uh, steam trains. We want one that's good pulling capacity. That's not too much. That's already 3 million. Buy off the bat, which we don't really have. That's got... Uh, 450 tracks of effort. That's actually not a bad tractive effort. Oh no, it's tractive effort we're looking for. Not power. Hmm. I think we have to go to the Russian. actually faster and a bit cheaper but less we'll do this mediocre the cargo we want to be able to tr uh, to do stone and brick oh that's nice to do stone them did they not go into the same do they not go into the same i thought they would go into the same one Nobody in the gondola are all them. Oh, I didn't realise that one. Okay. I believe it's one to one. That costs more. We don't even have enough for three. 
And then how much would it be for a flat cart of three? Four point. Okay. I believe we can get a bank loan out. Let's just borrow as much as we can, honestly. I know we're going to be paying a lot of money, but... We've got 30 million loan. 30 million? No, we've got a 20 million loan. Okay. Or 20 odd million. So, if we do... I didn't even do the best gondolas, did I? So, one, two, three, four, five. Then, one, two, three, four, five. In fact, that's less weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Do six of each. That's eight million. Colour it in red. Stick it on that line. And I guess we just start the timer. In fact, we're actually going to do the date speed down to a half. So this will be our first train coming out. Oh, as it saves time. Okay. I don't know what speed this is going to get up to, but obviously we're going to see. Interesting. Hopefully, bricks start producing, producing actually. So, that that is actually producing. Nice. I don't even know how much the train can hold. Um, we do need to change the line though. Make sure you're gonna wait for a full load to come back. And obviously, when we're around here, we can kind of cut off the line here. Go to a train station here if you want to do a train line between them. We can also do the bread line as well. That's another option. And then it will be able to connect to the train line down here. That will probably be the second line we do. We're just going to see how this line does to start off with. Very nice views. Come along here. Um... I can only really hold 75. Let's have a look at our line. So, rate is, a, is 140. We definitely need to up that. But I don't know how much... Um, bricks we're going to be using. And oh, I love how I've done this station. Obviously, it's bypassing straight through. But it doesn't need to stop there, which is great. Uh, that is definitely good. I like to see the proceedings and how this works. Um, we're definitely going to be probably held back by cargo trains in the future when we start doing actual trains that move between stations. We're lost, we've lost about half a million already. And then we just like, get up to this massive what, what speed are we going, actually? 74. So we're limited to 74, 5, which is not bad, honestly. Doing quite well for the time. Obviously, we're going to go into platform 1, which has 204, 203 weight in.
so right now we're going to be picking up on all these. Let's pause. Go on to the, the line. Manage vehicles. And while we're here, we'll duplicate. No, not du not. How do you duplicate? Clone the vehicle. So we're going to have two vehicles on this line to start off with. I'm sorry where this goes. Oh, I've messed up the line, haven't I? Manage vehicle. Uh, manage line, actually. Manage line. Wait until full of it. Full of any load. That's right. So that's now just coming out of there, which is nice. This section works well. I'm happy with how this section works. Not the prettiest of sections, but it it works very well. So this is basically just us setting up our first line. And hopefully this makes money. We can carry 72 of each. This is going to take a while to get up here. Not that fast. But we're full of 72 in there. How much has that got left? That's still got a lot to spare. Going up hills, a bit of a push. And obviously, depending on how much you make out of this, depending on if we can uh, get a third train on the line. I just want to get a profitable line, get some money rolling in before we work on our second line. But yeah, we're doing basically trains on everything because it's just easier that way. We've already lost a million on one train on him. Not good. It's taken us five months to deliver our first load. It's going to take us five months to deliver our first load of uh, stone. Okay. line. Wait unlimited because I want it to wait to get a full load. And there's the other one going the other way. How much are we going to make? A million. We made a million off one load. Now obviously this is going to be consumption is producing. Producing. Currently, it's got no produce. Oh, that's why I failed. I have failed. I have forgotten to set up a truck stop down here to actually do the drop off section. So, not a bus tram depot, truck station. There we go. It's going to be the longest we can do. Do it there. So, where are the bricks? Are over here. So, we need to put in a truck stop. Truck and load stop. So that'll cover everything, really. Put it over here just so it pulls off the main street. Yeah. Okay. And I guess we'll put our depot out here. Just so it's out of the way a little bit. And like I said, this is going to be our only road depot. 
in this game. I should probably have put it back a little bit, but um, oh well. So, new line. That to there. Gonna pick up bricks and unload everything. Wait until full. Uh, road cargo. Yeah, road cargo. Uh, delivery bricks, Norton. On. Who went? Ah, so we do have some of these. That goes twenty miles an hour. That goes twenty five. Uh, we'll go for this one. I'll go for three to start off with. We'll paint them yellow. Pick them on that line. Now, this should start. So, yeah, bricks are starting to come out. So, instead of waiting here. No, I was going to manage the line actually. Uh, manage line. Set it to there, just so that train will end up going. Does have two bricks on at the moment. But we'll change it over to that. So that should now start producing bricks for the next train. And that'll deliver two, tr two there. So that's not actually going to make money. This train, however, is now on its way back. Can I do a quick duplication? I don't have enough money for that. Okay, don't have enough money for duplication. So. We'll follow this train all the way back. In fact, no. We're not going to follow that train. We're going to follow this train. Because this train should hopefully make money... We've got 14 bricks waiting for us. So hopefully as we get there, there'll be a lot more waiting for us. That's will start making money. Uh, wait time unlimited. So I don't want them to uh, burn through fuel. That made nearly a million, not bad. It's still not making a profit right now, but it's picking up bricks. Nearly halfway full. Gonna make, uh, yeah, it should hopefully get filled up soon. Burning through them a little bit, it'll take a while. Got two more pallets to go. Sadly, it's not going to be making any money going back, but it works either way, and that's the train going back the other way. Is this going to be full soon? Just need. These to start filling up, maybe. We're losing 1.3 million, which is not good. We're about to get full, which is good, though. We're making money on the... 
Is this train making money? There we go, and we're off with a full uh, with a full load. That's just got there, so that's good. Oh, we've just got some trams. Nice. Uh, so we haven't actually set up any rail networks yet. But as we connect more cities together, we can kind of get more connected as well. And obviously we're going to be building another rail network to do food. Which kind of means we can do a, tr uh, a network of... Um, obviously this, this city is going to be able to go to the other city and we'll, we can work through that as well. Oh, this is dropping off at this. Okay. Well, it, it, it was meant to do that. I didn't even see how much it made. Did anyone else see? Well, it's, it's made me. It it's made over a million. So it's definitely making money. That's got some more stored. It's going through them. So it's just this one way back that doesn't make any anything. Um, assuming we can in the future, we can use this depot as a we can use one we can use this station as like a go between. So we can kind of pick up stuff to go to to carry on to the next location maybe. Kind of like have a chain of uh, a chain of uh, trains. <laughs> yes, a train of trains. That just pop, keep popping through them. How's this doing on it? Not making too much. It's not full yet. But it's slowly getting there. Okay. So we know it, we know it makes about a million one way. So it makes a million on this first drop off. So this is now just full up. That station could actually, we could definitely do another train on this. That's about to head off. And this is starting to pull back. Okay. We definitely need to get enough to get another train on this line because two trains are good. Can I see income? So the bricks are making, they're making money as well. What's the rate of this? 63. Uh, managed vehicles. Duplicate that. 63 is good, but obviously it definitely needs to be 130 back being off. That's filled. That that's losing some. Well, I just did order some new some new vehicles on this line. So um, add some more cargo. Just so it's big enough for this. So that's nearly getting enough money as well. We're definitely making money. We're definitely making some money. Yeah, this needs like a rate of... Not that, I need that one. That's got a rate of 105, 114. That rate's going up a little bit more. Which is good. That's just gone through there. Okay. Definitely we'll have enough to make a, get a third train on this line. So 
18 bricks there. Turn its way back. How many should this get in, actually? Getting 68 out of the 110 it needs. Not bad. And now that's empty, that line, which is good. They should wait indefinitely for the next one. And then when this gets back down here, we can actually see how much it makes. But yeah, I like that this one comes into this side and then that one, that train can go onto that side. Here we go, it's pulling in now. 1.3 million. Very nice. Bricks dropped off. Oh. They've got the other boxcar on. Manage vehicles. Uh, edit selected vehicles. That should be there. Just a little bit of LCD on that. Modify. Make sure it's painted red. And let it go. So that they're making money now, though. This line should be finished before the train gets the next train gets in. Where's the next train? Is the next train still... The next... That's going to be there. We're definitely making money on this though, aren't we? It looks like it. That one's now leaving, as that one's going back through. So yeah, the production speed's going up. We just need to get another train on the go, and I don't think we've got enough money to get another phone. So. How else can we improve this? We're making money, which is the main thing, although it looks like we're losing money. I don't know how this system works, because it says we're losing money. Is it because of the money we're paying back on the loans? Possibly. These are starting to get more productive, which is good. We could definitely do with the third train. Definitely do with the third train. However, we are doing well, though. We are doing really well so far to start off with, I think. I don't know how that loses a little bit of money that makes money back. I, doesn't, I don't understand that one. We're not losing any more bricks on this side. That's 
104, right? Bad. Our money's definitely going up. The main thing. We've got no more there. That's okay. That's okay. We're doing well. So, I think I'll wrap it up for this episode. I'll let this run for a little bit longer while um, we get a bit more money up to be able to get our third train on this line. And once we've got a third train going on, we'll try and start planning out our next run, which will probably be the, uh, the wheat to grain run. Because I think the grain can deliver to two. If I was right in thinking, or is the grain, the grain just delivers to here. But that adds a secondary line in that's going to go this way that we can kind of split off to here for bricks. So there's always that possibility of getting a secondary brick line this way as well. Not to mention, brains between these three cities. That actually makes plastic there as well, so that would be another nice thing to do. And as we get, our, get another amount of money in, slowly get an income. We're slowly making income. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave it here for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you've got anything in the description, anything you want to let me know, uh, any ideas, let me know in the comments below. And with that being said, thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you next time.